Hi, I am Devjani Nath. Welcome back to my channel Craft Addict. Today in this episode, we are going to learn how to crochet this honeycomb stitch. It is also called smock stitch sometimes. And I am going to show you how to make this stitch. These are small swatches I have made with three different yarn and if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell button so that you can get the notification early i shall leave all the information in the description box below do like share and comments i will try my best to answer you so let's get started For this project, I am using this bulky yarn and also a 4 millimeter crochet hook. We will need a pair of scissors also. And for this, I am going to make a chain of 20 plus 1. So make your slip knot. I am going to make my slip knot in this way. You can make in any other way also. Now I am going to make a chain of 21. 2, 3, 4, 5. This is chain of 21. I have made. And now we will start from the second chain from hook. This is first chain and this is second chain. The ch loop on my hook will not be counted as chain. So this is second chain. From the second chain we will start making single crochet. So insert your hook. Make one single crochet. Again into the next chain. Make one single crochet. We will make one single crochet in each stitch. So go on making single crochet all through this row and we will meet at the end of this row. Now I have come to the end of this row. At the end of this row we should have 20 single crochet stitch. You should always count your stitch at the end of your row. Now chain 1, turn your work. And again, we will make this second row a single crochet row. This row will be again single crochet in each stitch. Makes one single crochet in each stitch. Now I have completed row 2. Row 1 and row 2 is a single crochet row. And now we will move on to the next row. Row 3 by chain 1. Turn your work. And now start your third row. And from this row we are going to make the pattern. 
the first stitch will be single crochet and the second stitch will be elongated single crochet that is two row below we will make one single crochet this is the second stitch and two row below is here we will make single crochet here insert your hook two row below yarn over pull through pull a little longer and now single crochet you can see how it looks again next stitch will be normal single crochet and again next stitch will be elongated single crochet two row below first row is always a little difficult but from next one it will be very easy your next stitch will be one single crochet next is again two row below elongated single crochet and the next stitch one normal single crochet so go on continue we will meet at the end of this row now i have come to the end of the row and the last stitch will be elongated single crochet so we have completed row 3 now chain 1 and we will start now we row will four. start row 4 for row 4 our first stitch will be one single crochet again and next stitch will be modified single crochet that is you can see this elongated single crochet we have made in the previous row in the previous row we have made elongated single crochet here one loop from here this stitch and another from the next one we will take these two stitches and now grab the yarn pull through and make one single crochet this is modified single crochet now again one normal single crochet and again the next one will be one modified single crochet one loop from this elongated single crochet another from this one take those two loops now again one loop from this side from this elongated stitch and another from the next one yarn over pull through two loops you can see how it looks now again normal single crochet next one and again we will make one modified single crochet that is one loop from here and another from the next one next stitch one normal single crochet again one from here another from the next next one is normal single crochet 
so in this way go on continue and we will meet at the end of this row now i have come to the end of this row this is end of row 4 now chain 1 turn your work we will start with extended single crochet that is a this one elongated single crochet is also called extended single crochet we will start with two row below make one extended single crochet and then one normal single crochet then one normal single crochet again we will make one elongated single crochet you can see this elongated single crochet two row below and in the left side here we will make another single crochet and be sure that you insert your hook your hook will be in between this waist stitch so now grab the yarn pull through thus how it looks this is now again one normal single crochet again one elongated single crochet here also in the left side insert your hook be sure that it is in between this V stitch next one normal single crochet again and see this is elongated single crochet and the left side insert your hook two row below and behind in between this V stitch and now again one single crochet normal single crochet so go on making in this way complete your row this is row 5 we are completing row 5 now I have completed row 5 we should complete this row and this row with single crochet remember that and now chain 1 turn your work and now we will start row 6 first stitch will be one single crochet next another single crochet and now you can see this elongated single crochet from the previous row we will make modified single crochet as i have showed you before in this way one normal single crochet one modified single crochet again one normal single crochet one modified single crochet
now we have completed row 6 and this is a pattern row continue this four rows three four five six this four rows continue this over and over and i'm going to continue a few more rows after that i am coming back now i am completing my last row this is row six one normal single crochet one modified single crochet chain one and I'm going to finish my work cut up the yarn you can weave this yarn in the back side to hide it so now this is honeycomb stitch and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like my video, do subscribe to my channel and press the bell button so that you can get the notification early. I shall leave all the information in the description box below. To like, share and comments. I will try my best to answer you. See you in my next video.